this is a great opportunity for me to tell you how proud I am of a number of things that we've done for um, the hospital over the last 10 years. Uh, the first has been all the work that we've done around our patients and families uh, and, and the access that we've uh, improved uh, for them. And so if I think about uh, the partial hospitalization program, the prompt care clinic, the eating disorders unit, um, you know, the uh, personality disorders program that we've introduced, all of those have been incredibly important accomplishments as we improve access to care for our patients and our families. I'm also really proud of the fact uh, that we have improved quality and again when I think about the decrease in the use of uh, restraints and seclusion, the improvement that we have had in our falls prevention program, uh, reducing moderate and severe falls, and also in our medication reconciliation and really catching all of those errors in much earlier in the process. Um, I think we can be extremely proud of the improvement in quality that we have had at Ontario Shores. And the other really great thing that we have accomplished has been about the work that we've done for the organization as a whole. Um, we have completed the land and building negotiations. It took us a full 10 years, but we've done. Um, and we also have really improved um, uh, our capabilities around information management and when you think about the HIMSS Level 7 and you also look, think about the Davies Award, it's a real tribute um, to the organization uh, and I'm quite proud of the work that we've done in that area as well. Meeting my team for the very first time a year ago yesterday. The birth of my son Seth Gary Mathers on St. Patrick's Day, March 17, 2014, 7 pounds, 14 ounces. At Ontario Shores we had a great time doing the butterfly affair. We got to work with a professional chef, Chef Brad Long. Um, it was a long day, a lot of hard work, but I think it was a very successful event and we all had a really great time. So achieving my Canadian Nursing Association Psychiatric and Mental Health Nursing Certification and thank you to Ontario Shores for all the support. Being assigned to the Human Rights Project at Ontario Shores. Building a new team on GPU. <laughs> Finding out my, that my dad won the lottery, uh, very exciting for us. And also joining the um, Dragon Boat Racing with Ontario Shores employees here. Uh, there's 23 of us here and it's a lot of fun. An amazing research and academics team. A new research chair in the community management of dementia. Two scientists a long list of publications, and our first grants. Completed my master's degree in health informatics in 2012. Belonging to the book club at Ontario Shores. Mentoring students and new staff. Working with so many great volunteers over the last 10 years, and now starting the next phase of my career in enterprise risk management. Bringing home these two awards from the Ontario Health Libraries Association to Ontario Shores is my most memorable moment. I'm so glad to be here and to share these with the organization. Seven years to Stage 7. And the Waypoint Collaboration Project. And what's to come in the next 10 years. In 2012, we managed to win the Greening Healthcare Award for Energy Savings. So that was for the year for 2011. And this year, we are going to win the one for 2015 because we've achieved way more than the 5% to join the 5% club for greening healthcare. Uh, being promoted to a level two IT analyst is my favorite moment. The opportunity to go to Ethiopia to participate in our work there and to be there while they announced the launch of the first mental health court that we are aware of in all of Africa. Teaching mental health first aid this past year and a half has been such a rewarding experience. I love being able to see my participants' attitudes change from when they walk in the door to the end of the two days when they leave. Uh, I found that even just teaching this course has, has changed me as a person. Moving the payroll to day two at Ontario Shores. The launch of the preceptorship training program. Being a part of an award-winning organization for being a part of the case study for the National Standard of Canada for Psychological Health and Safety in the Workplace. Last summer we had a team building exercise for the whole department. We went outside, got dressed up, did skits, had a barbecue. It was awesome. Everybody had a great time. 
being part of the journey from being a paper system to a fully electronic health records and achieving him stage seven over the past nine years. Team collaboration, professionalism, and patient supports towards their rehabilitation and recovery. Getting my first big girl job and being blessed enough to get it here, somewhere that I love to spend my time. Right after placement. Right after placement, both of us. <laughs> the introduction into Demetra Health Meetings. Working with clients um, in the community and finding work for them to be successful. Six years ago, on March 15th, the adoption of my youngest son, Austin. Working with such a great team on FTU and um, the starting of the shared journey with the patients is really important. The first completed payroll as a divested hospital. I completed the Medical Office Administration program at Durham College. Starting the patient work placement in the sewing room. Celebrating 50 years of volunteerism at Ontario Shores. The WAVE, the HOPE campaign, and seven years of working with the A-Team here at Ontario Shores, including Johnny. <laughs> Prom. It was the, uh, an event that we hosted for patients at the hospital. Being part of a fantastic team here in PHP and just seeing um, success with our clients out in the community. Finding out that two members of my team here in Peril had family members win Lotto. Finishing my degree in 2013. Finding out that Haley got valedictorian. Why did you do that? <laughs> Ontario Shore's response to the fire at Fairview Lodge. The way that we took in patients, worked together, worked with the community, really was living our values in action. The day we launched Shoreline, it was a lot of work and a lot of people involved and a long project, and so it was a really great day. Implementation of Meditech. It was awesome to be part of the team to create FARU, working together to move three units and create a new one. All the clinical teams and supporting services working together. Winning the Value in Action Award, and I work with such an amazing team. We started working together at Ontario Shores over 30 years ago, and now we're reunited in vocational services, and it feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> in the last 10 years, going from student to staff. The work we did around branding and the identity of Ontario Shores was such an exciting period of the last 10 years. It was a chance to set a new direction and a vision statement that really created an opportunity for leadership in recovery work. Uh, lots of uh, thinking and effort in terms of establishing a new uh, path for research and discovery and established how important it was to create an environment that nurtured hope. And then when we had the opportunity to see the success of clients and the evolution of family involvement, all of that really brought true meaning to what that vision was all about. It was topped off, I guess, by uh, some awards. Uh, that was a highlight to the recognition by the local community, the local business community, our partners, and then some national and international awards were really just a sweet topping on recognizing all of that effort and hard work and teamwork that it took to create those successes. I remember the, the uh, amount of staff involvement and commitment, just the energy and effort that was uh, needed to get things up and going. Uh, lots of fond memories about the staff celebrations we had. I hope that uh, you still have cake and ice cream. Those were good memories. So congratulations to everyone on the 10th anniversary today. Keep the vision alive.